Hello and welcome to the fantastic fifth episode of Grammar TV for 2018. We have plenty of amazing stories, so let's get right into it. As many of you would know, Grade 10 recently had their first activity week. Many people wonder what goes on at retreat. Astra was there and has this report for us. Earlier this term, the first group of Grade 10s took the bus down to the Scout Centre in Karnakoo, where they spent their five-day retreat. On the Monday when they arrived, the group was settled into teams that would be looking at life scenarios and growing in mindfulness together throughout the week. There were two days in the middle designated to separate boys and girls days, which majority of people found the most rewarding. In this video, we will be mainly looking at the girls day. The key themes being built on during the girls days were about purpose and relationships in an inspiring, restoring and nurturing environment. The girls were taught many life skills and took part in useful activities that would be helpful to them in the future, such as changing a tyre, starting a fire and an early morning boxing session as the sun rose. The yoga is a chance to build awareness in yourself and develop self-love and appreciation through being aware of your breathing and movement. Overall, working on your relationship with yourself, this was followed up with self-love books. The girls each made a mandala artwork with an intention word that was there to help identify each individual's purpose and intention in life. The mandalas are built around a central point, and whilst it is quite meditative whilst doing them, the idea is that everyone's lives are built around this central point, which they should keep returning to. Continuing from this, they then went on to make a much larger mandala, using objects from the environment around them. The dinners and guided discussions are about building your relationships with others, using the strength of your peers to become stronger in yourself, breaking down walls and barriers to develop trust and hope in yourselves and others. There is plenty of time for reflection with many walks surrounding yourself in beautiful scenery and a positive environment. Retreat's goals are to spend some time thinking about yourself and life away from all distractions and normality. The beauty of retreat is that you also get to share the journey with a group of peers and staff. These relationships endure long after retreat has finished. Retreat's <laughs> <Tell us when. laughs> Retreat definitely looks like a great time. Yeah, it definitely does. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been raining in Launceston quite a lot this week, so the question has to be asked, is water wet? Sophie and Abby asked some of the people around the school about this slippery issue. Yes. Yes? No. 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 Yes. Is it wet? No. At this time of year, it's mostly it's not. It's dry. Dry. Wet? I think it is, yes. Wait, no, this is a trick question. Water is obviously wet because it makes other things wet. How does it make other things wet if it isn't wet? Water isn't wet. Wetness is described as a state of being when something comes into contact with water. You don't say water comes into contact with itself. You don't say the ocean gets wet. You don't say little droplets sitting on the top of water, otherwise the water will then be wet. Because for something to be wet, it has to be dry. Is water dry? No. But it's not wet either. I hate to say it, but I have to agree with Zachy Jacobs on that one. As do I. Let us know your, com your thoughts down in the comments. I'm usually pretty good at finishing my homework, so I do find it funny when I hear some excuses that people come up with. Callum received these two responses from Dr Clements and Mr Gray. Where is your maths assignment? Uh... I'm not very good at saxophone. I'm having an existential crisis and my dad is a moron. Homework just wasn't a priority. My favourite would have to be the saxophone one. Yeah. Not sure I'll be trying it anytime soon though. <laughs> nah. Our next story is about the recently installed broad and old girls window in the senior school chapel. Bella Higgins produced this story with Yazara Brown reporting as this story. 
Recently, the senior school chapel saw the commissioning of the newest stained glass window. The window, which is dedicated to the Broadland Old Girls, was also funded by the members of the Broadland Old Girls Association. We spoke to Donna Bradley about the process that went into the new window. In 2016, we, the Broadland Old Girls Committee, decided that we would like a window in the Grammar Chapel and we talked with artist Ralph de la Motte. He designed the window that you see today. It took 631 days to prepare to raise money, which was over $30,000. The money was donated from old girls. We had a commemorative service and 200 people consisting of old girls and staff of the Launceston Church Grammar School community. It was a very humbling and uh, rewarding experience to be part of this process and it was culminating in the dedication on the 15th of March in 2018. That window does look great and the chapel is a really special building. Yeah, indeed it is. Our last story for this episode is about our recently concluded school production, All Shook Up. I have this story. Unfortunately, the school production has finally come to an end, but of course, not without re raving reviews and comments. Let's go have a look at some. that it was really, really awkward. Everything, it was like a love dodecahedron or something going on there. Maybe 11 if you count Ted as the second birther. I just loved all the singing. Well, it was fabulous, yeah, because you know all the songs. So you sing along. Yeah. Laughing so hard in some parts that I snorted. <laughs> Uh, that was kind of embarrassing, but uh, just made me want to get up and dance. Uh, loved everything about it. So well done, guys. <laughs> It was great to see the absolutely fantastic talent we have in this school. Yeah, it sure was. That's all we have for this for time for this episode. I've been Brad McGee and this has been Ben Hill. See, see you, you next time. time.